This is perfect for our first edition of Terpene Tuesday, or Sativa vs. Indica. What the devil? I'm Lex Pelger, and I do Canna Education for CV Sciences. This is a new account, so you can really help us out with a follow, like, share, or comment. And as always, ask me anything. The star of today's episode is a little monoterpenoid called myrcene, and it figures greatly in the gigantic Sativa vs. Indica debate. If you're following this great scientific battle, you see editorial after editorial saying that the sativa versus indica thing isn't real. It does not reflect the actual genetics of the plant. To botanists, depending on who you talk to, there might be five or four different genetic focal points that the plants tend to revolve around. Though, of course, they can have ones in between them. But it's not as simple as one versus the other. That being said, and as this original comment stated, people feel a distinct heavy body load from some types of cannabis varieties labeled as indica. And one of the best guesses, though this isn't solved and nobody really knows, is that it is that one monoterpenoid named myrcene. Myrcene is known for causing that couch lock effect. And it would make sense that it's widespread because it is the most widespread monoterpenoid inside the plant. And so you're getting it in a lot of different varieties that you might be consuming. Of course, myrcene does a lot of interesting things on its own. And that's one of the cool parts about what they call the entourage effect. The idea that the terpenes are helping the cannabinoids to work better because the terpenes are active molecules in of themselves. They might be the butterflies of the plant that are delicately dancing out and just by smelling the plant you're causing changes in yourself let alone the smoking of it. So on the scientific research side myrcene has been studied as a sedative, a hypnotic, a painkiller, an anticonvulsant, an antioxidant, an anti-inflammatory, and a neuroprotective agent. Myrcene is the terpene that gives the bitter taste to hops, it gives that sweet earthy smell to the cannabis types that it's in, and occurs in high levels in lemongrass, verbena, and black pepper. Also, if you know that trend of eating mangoes before smoking cannabis to increase the THC to your brain, for one, that comes from the old Arab doctors of the Arabic Golden Age. But the idea might be that the myrcene is helping the THC to better cross your blood-brain barrier and causing more of a psychoactive effect. The clinical research for this is limited, but there is certainly a lot of anecdotal data indicating that. Myrcene is known to interact with the opioid, adrenaline, and TRPV systems, has been studying animal models for osteoarthritis, neuropathic pain, acute pain, ulcers, heart failure, pleurisy, anti-aging effects on the skin, protecting liver and body from environmental toxins, and of course, keeping you glued to the couch.